Hello and welcome, this is Al from Open Soul Channel. Welcome again to a new episode on R2. Don't forget you can uh, follow me on uh, Twitter. And there we go, and also you can uh, follow me on Facebook. This is the actual Facebook page. And I'm going to close up to those two tabs. And there we go. Today I'm going to show you how to install a copy of Screenly on your Raspberry Pi. What Screenly is, is a digital signage for advertising. Uh, this was um, asked me from one of my followers who wanted to know if it was available in open source version. Uh, well, do screenly is also premium they have as you can see here an open source edition of course it's not as the other one you know the main premium one but nevertheless it's still working it'll still do the same um, there are just few limitation uh, of course you can f uh, go on their website and load a again uh, the latest version The website is screenlyapp.com. Uh, Here I've already downloaded the uh, the image in the zip folder. Now I'm going to well, let me delete this a second. This is from my last tutorial. Here we go. Let me go here. Now I'm going to the download page and I'm going to extract the image from the zip file. Extract here. I'm going to speed up a little bit the process here. Here we go, uh, the file has been extracted. I'm going to close this one here. And I'm going to add my SD card. Let me go this space here. There we go, we got the G drive. This is the my uh, micro SD card that I just inserted. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to format my card as I've already project on this one. Uh, what is it? SD here we go, SD formatter. I'm going to make sure that I'm choosing the right drive. In this case it's gonna be G. As you can see only a few megabyte there. I'm going to format to the maximum uh, size that's 32 gig although it shows up to 20, uh, 29 point seven but it's a 32 gig uh, card. Here we go, that's the file. We're going to remove that. File Explorer again. No, we, we don't want to do that. Now we want to write the image to the SD card. And I'm going to go up to my image writer. Where did I put it? No, it's going up again. I always lose this one here. There we go. That's with 32 image. And I'm going to choose G again. And I'm going to choose the image file there. Right. Okay. I'm going to press right. And I'm going to wait until the process is done. Here we go, uh, the 
image has been rooted down. I do apologize for the background noise. I think one of my neighbors started to sew something. Here we go. Here are the requirements. Make sure that uh, we got right. Raspberry Pi, big enough, you know, SD card. Here we go. This is the my Raspberry Pi 2 and it's connected with uh, two dongles. One is a Wi-Fi, one is the uh, wireless keyboard. And now we're going to power up the Raspberry Pi. It is attached to my HP monitor. Then I'm going to show you a second. There we go, it's just putting up. That's what happens in the beginning. Welcome to Screenly. It shouldn't take uh, long there. Now I'm going to back to the browser. And I'm going to add the IP of the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, we got the Screenly panel here where you can add and remove all the assets. There are already three. And here you can click and add whatever assets you need to. Here you can edit them. As you can see, there is the locations. It could be a uh, URL or you can be, you know, you can actually upload, as in this case here, the video has been uploaded to the um, Raspberry Pi. Here you can change the duration. I'm going to press uh, clear there. Now we're going to add an asset myself, uh, just a normal image, test picture, and I'm going to upload picture. I'm going to choose the file, go to desktop. And I don't see it. <laughs> well, I'm going to choose this one here. It's already the image to be selected. That's the start date and the start uh, time and the end date and the end time. I'm going to put the duration 10. It's come as default. And here we go. That's now is inactive. And all I got to do is press OK you know, uh, on and it'll become active. I'm going to stop this one now and I'm going to show you how it looks. Here we go. Uh, this is one of the pages loaded. This is the video. I'm uh, speeding up the process so uh, you can see a little bit of everything. There we go. That's another one there. Um, you can actually put the web page if you want to. As in this case, and it also should be the image that I uploaded. Here we go, this is the image I uploaded. I'm going back to the browser, and don't forget uh, to read the entire documentation. Now, don't forget, most important, please change the uh, password for your Pi account. Here it tells you how to upgrade the Screenly. You can do things from the SSH. I'm going to show you now the process. I'm going to go to Putty and I'm going to log in to the Pi by adding the... I mean, I already got it, but just add your IP and log in as usual. Don't forget, you can follow the uh, Raspberry Pi. I will get started from my videos. Here I'm going to put uh, the password. And what I'm going to do, the first thing, let me see. Um, I'm going to run the Raspberry, Raspberry config with command sudo. And I'm going to expand the, Viva, uh, the memory split to 256 megabytes and also I'm going to expand the then I forgot to do this in the beginning expand the memory card now I'm going to do the video card by going to memory split changing 64 to 256 
it should be about 50 50 it depends what you got i mean with raspberry pi you can even go up to much higher but i'm going to put 256 megabyte there we go i'm going to press ok I'm going to select finish and I'm going to reboot the Raspberry Pi. Okay, now he's done. Pressing OK, press X. I'm going to restart Putty. My SSH uh, client. Double click on my there we go. Let me double click here on the Pi. Hmm. My keyboard is not working. <laughs> Sorry about that. Here we go. Double click on it. And there we go. We get back into the Pi. Um, Login as Pi and the password. the default password is raspberry as usual but don't forget to change that as i said it now i'm going back and i'm going to upgrade or update in this case it's going to be an upgrade of a uh, screenly that's what it says on the team <laughs> so here we go upgrade you can use this line or the one which is the equivalent of the one below or you can actually use curl if you want to as I'm not going to now but that's up to you right click and paste and I'm going to press enter and I'm going to wait for the process to finish now it's going to take uh, some time and I'm going to uh, speed up the process Here we go, the upgrade is finished. Going back to the browser, system information. Let's see if uh, it works. Here we go. Now, as you can see, the load average, the free space, the uptime, and all the rest of the information. We also have the settings, splash screen, the shuttle playlist, the audio output. I do want to use the clock, the default duration, and once you're done, and just save the selection. There we go. Uh, you got the active and inactive assets. You can delete it if you want to, or again, as I showed you earlier on, just press the don't like it, the pen to the uh, you know to edit it, or the actual bin to delete it as I just done it you can move it up and down if you want to and to be honest it's not much more that uh, to show thanks again uh, you know in following me for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe share and like my videos the more you like it the more you share it the more videos I can do thanks again and I'll see you next time